Hello and welcome to another new video of introduction to ABAP programming lesson number 10. In this video we will find how to use BAPIs for data interfacing. Now objective of this video is recall the basic techniques of using BAPI, learn process flow of mass data transfer using BAPIs in the DX workbench. And now mass data transfer process flow we use BAPI mainly for uh, mass data transfer from SAP to SAP system or uh, non SAP system to SAP system we will discuss use of BAPI in detail in this chapter we will find how to uh, how to prepare file to upload to uh, SAP system how to prepare data uh, in regard of SAP file format and how to clean the data and other steps. Now, uh, data transfer phases are total in five numbers. First of all, we have to anal we have to do analysis and cleanup of data in the non-SAP system. Which da which data exists in non-SAP system? How is the data structure, length, sequence, etc? This step is required to assign the transfer data to the correct SAP structure later. Which data can be transferred unchanged? Which data has to be supplemented? And which data cannot be transferred at all? We will have to find the how, which data um, we want to transfer and which data format uh, um, which data format is suited for SAP. Uh, which, data, which data we want to transfer and how many columns and how many um, dimensions we have to find and we have to convert according to the SAP system format. In phase 2 we do extraction of data from the non-SAP system. In this step uh, we determine data is extracted from the non-SAP system to a file. The data in this file still has the format of non SAP system. The following options are avail available for extracting the data. Using an extract extracting tool, we can use any extracting tool supplied by the non SAP system, LSM, LSM workbench, a database tool, any extraction function of a mapping tool. Now, you can see the the uh, the whole process uh, process picture here in the screen. First of all, here is a source system from where we can extract our file and find the leg and find our data in the legacy file format. Then we will uh, we will make a file according to the SAP format. After the, after creation of file. We will make uh, we will load it while using any uh, while using batch input or direct input PAPI. There are two 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 types of uh, techniques we use uh, for uploading the data. Number one is batch input and number two is direct input, which is called PAPI. After loading uh, after loading the data, um, the see in the same step. Uh, in the same step, we commit, we save our data direct into the application data or ERP R3. Now, um, the third phase, in the third phase, we will do mapping the data in SAP format. Data from a non-SAP system can only be transferred to an SAP system if it is available in SAP format. Because the format of the data extracted from the non-SAP system usually differ from this SAP format of the transfer file, mapping between the different structure is required. To perform this mapping, you will have to analyze both the fields and structure of the data to transfer and the involved SAP structure in order to determine how the conversion should be performed. Let's say if we have, uh, if we want to uh, upload data of any customer, so we will have to uh, we will have to make all the uh, fields like customer name, customer code, its address, its contact, uh, contact, 
information in the same format as SAP required. We will have to explore the master data table of customer like KNA1 and KNA1 and find the fields of uh, find the regarding fields and then uh, we will have to prepare our we have to prepare our file according to that format for example if a customer code is uh, is length uh, is having length of uh, 10 digit and our legacy system uh, having a length of 5 digit so we have to uh, add uh, zeros um, zeros before the um, before uh, before the before our legacy customer id in phase 4 we will do transferring the data to the sap system after 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 completion of the our sap format file we will have to transfer data from this file to the sap system in which we will in which sequence will the data to be copied to the business object type and in which sequence will the involved business object types to be filled with the data we will have to answer this question um, and which data transfer technique will be used for the individual business object type here we will discuss only the scope of BAPI as the preferred transfer technique so in this in this phase we will have to explore and we will have to decide the scope of BAPI and how many uh, how many master data or how many transition will be uh, transition type or business object will be updated uh, as a result of uh, this file uploading and uh, what uh, what the sequence uh, sequence will be used uh, for uh, for updating any business object and uh, um, how many business object will involve in in this uh, step we also uh, we also make a document and we also finalize all in the answer of this question before uh, moving to the uh, phase number five after this we will do checking the data after transfer data must be checked for completeness in SAP system so after selecting the method and after uploading the our uh, our data to the SAP system we will have to check uh, our data by using any standard SAP report or any any customized report um, that uses the uh, same table which we use in our PAPI so uh, let's get an overview of uh, BAPI. BAPI is a short form of business application programming, programming interfaces. Uh, these are the standardized programming interface faces that provide external access to SAP business process and data. BAPIs are defined in the Business Object Repository BOR as method of SAP business object or SAP interface type. BAPIs enable an object to enter access to SAP application component. BAPIs are implemented and stored as RFC enabled function module in function builder of the ABAP workbench. RFC, we, we, we know this called a uh, uh, remote function call. So uh, we will have to make a function. Uh, we will have to make a function um, of uh, RFC enabled and in by using G code uh, function uh, function builders G code that is SE37 so uh, all the things all the logic uh, behind uh, BAP piece will be implemented in the um, function builder now when using BAPIs as interface to the SAP system, the workbench uses the same technologies as used with permanent data transfer via ALE between SAP system or between SAP system and non-SAP system. The data to be loaded must be in IDOC format. The IDOC numbers in the file must be unique. When the task is started, the IDOCs from the specified input files are read and transferred to the BAPI. 
so in case of uh, uh, transfer data from any non SAP system to SAP system the Mm, the the data to be loaded uh, must be in the IDOC format. Mean as uses as we use in ALE application link enabling uh, s uh, system, we we do the same uh, same procedure and we create IDOC format uh, file and with the unique IDOC number. And then uh, our BAPI will use this IDOCs and read from the idoc file and transfer to the uh, to the bapi now why use bapis in data interfacing the use of bapis is increasingly important because the previous techniques are only for limited limited or no use for data transfer from release 4.6 onwards the batch input procedure cannot be used for the new in new enjoy transition because the batch input recorder does not support the control used in these transitions the administration trans transaction associated with the direct input method will no longer be supported from release 5.0 onwards at the latest this means that existing direct input program can be used but the data transfer should be converted to BAPIs in the medium term when you use call transition you have to specify values for all the mandatory fields on the screen you can't update a single field if there are some more fields which are mandatory in the same screen but when you use BAPI you can update individual fields without having to specify other fields if you use call transaction you have to do a new recording each time the screen of a particular transition changes but if you are using BAPI to update fields it does not matter where on the screen or in which screen are a particular field assigned this is due to the fact that BAPI is update through structures that are mapped directly with database tables so position of the fields on the screen does not matter hope you got the point that uh, Mm, when we use uh, uh, when we use the record transition uh, our call transition to record the uh, record our uh, batch input uh, method so we have we should uh, we want uh, we have to find all the required fields plus all the fields information uh, prior to the um, to the batch input but when we use uh, BAPI we don't we we don't need to find any uh, any but fields information or any required or not required information of any field because or because BAPI update the database table via structure and that structure are automatically mapped with the database tables. Now move on to the other point. Data interfacing through BAPIs greatly increase the performance as the updates are done directly through a structure. Uh, it also it also create a great impact um, because it updates uh, it update done directly through structures, as we uh, as we talk as we talked before. Now, as a summary, we can say. Mass data transfer technically involves in five steps. Number one, analysis and clean cleanup of data in non-SAP system, extraction of data from the non-SAP system, mapping the data in SAP's format, transferring the data to the SAP system, checking the data for consistency in R3 or SAP ERP. The patch input procedure cannot be used for the new transitions because the batch input recorder does not support the controls used in, that, in these transitions. Hence, use of BAPI is becoming increasingly important. Data interfacing through BAPI is performance efficient. It creates a huge impact on performance. Thank you. Hope you learn a lot of things uh, regarding BAPI from this video. Uh, let's meet into another interesting video. Till then, bye-bye.